Hi guys, what's up? How's it going? I hope you're all doing super well. Today we are going to be comparing the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder Foundation with the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. Why did I say it like that? That sounded weird, right? Just me? Okay. Anyway, we're going to be trying those out today. I figured we could do a wear test with it as well. I am starting this video kind of late, so I'll try to get as many hours in. I'll do some check-ins here and there. That's really what this video is going to be. It's just I kind of wanted to do something all about the skin today because I got a sty recently and it's like basically gone, but I just want to give it a day or two to like really clear up um, before I like go ahead and put any actual eye products on. So all about the skin today. In the Pretty Fresh, I got the shade Light 6, and then in the Camo, I got Light 210N. I truly have no idea if these are similar, so I could have two completely different sides going on. But that's okay, because we're gonna test out the actual formula. We're gonna see how it wears throughout the day and how it applies. Yeah, I mean, just a little background, I guess. I damn near love almost every single camo product from e.l.f. As for the Pretty Fresh, I haven't tried out too much. I've only tried out the tinted moisturizer and the concealer. I tried the tinted moisturizer in like one of my early videos. I think I liked it. I honestly can't remember, but I tried to wear it recently and it just like was not looking good. The concealer is something that I reach for often like it's definitely a go-to for me on the daily it's a nice like everyday concealer because it's lightweight but it still gives you that coverage and allows you to look more awake so that's definitely a favorite of mine all right i'm gonna zoom in so we can get a closer look at my skin and just to get this video going because it is it's late i need to start i went ahead and prep my skin with my Waleta skin food which is something i always do and then for primer i took the putty primer from elf um, because that's just been something I've been reaching for often. I think I'll do camo on this side, pretty fresh on this side. It's been a long time since I've, like, even picked up a powder foundation. I feel like they've come a long way for sure, so that's why I'm very eager to try this out. Um, but they could be actual shit, so I guess we'll see. All right, the e.l.f. one. I- is that my shade? I, these are probably not my shades, so let's just- get that out of the way. It comes with a mirror, very cute, perfect for on the go, lovely. And it comes with the little sponge, which of course they, you know, say, go ahead and use this. I might, but I might not, we'll see. This might get dirty, you know, if you were to take it on the go. I don't know if that like matters to you, but if it does, there you go. And then for the pretty, oh, this is cute. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, the pretty fresh one. I, I think I like this packaging more. I don't know why, it's like very bubbly. Uh, but yeah, let's see. It also comes with a little like puff and this one looks like this Let me compare the two. It also comes with a mirror. Love that. Both have very good sizes. That's great Oh, okay. Honestly, I think I did pretty good with the color matching. This one looks like a little darker Like just a hint But I feel like they're pretty similar To one another to my skin not so much, but that's fine. If you've seen any of my other videos, I am definitely one to apply like face products with a sponge. Um, I'll occasionally do it with a brush. It really kind of just depends what mood I'm in. But for today's video, I think I'm going to start with a brush application just because I think that's going to work a little better. However, I might go in with a sponge just to try it out. I'm definitely getting way ahead of myself. Like I still need to put concealer and all of that on. So I also feel like it's only fitting that I use the Pretty Fresh Concealer and the Camo Concealer. So I'm gonna do that. Let's start. Oh, I'm so excited. Should I zoom you guys in closer? Okay, so let's start with the Pretty Fresh. So I'm just gonna add this in my usual spots that I would conceal. And I'm not gonna go in with foundation. Not because I'm using the powder foundation, like if these do end up working, I'll probably use it several ways, but for today I really wanna see what it's gonna give. But yeah, anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna go a little heavier with concealer. And then for my other side, I'm going in with the Camo Concealer from e.l.f. This is in the shade medium 
peach. I'm just gonna add some cream contour onto my nose to shape it up a bit. Now let's get into what this video is actually about. Pretty fresh powder foundation going on. Let's see. I'm gonna start with my lower half of the face. I think I'm also gonna use this for under the eyes. Because why not? I definitely feel like it looks a little darker in the pan because now that I have it on my skin, it kind of looks a little lighter, but I mean, it's just truer to my tone because I'm very pale at the moment. I, th hold on, I need to, I need a minute to evaluate. <laughs> It's like off the jump, extremely, extremely smoothing. Like it looks super silky and very airbrushed. I feel like it has some coverage. I just don't think it has a lot though, which I'm not mad about. Like I really like how this is looking on the skin, um, but for it being a powder foundation, I don't know how much coverage you're actually getting. Ah. I mean, actually, I feel like you're getting a decent amount because it's definitely added more than just like what I had on with the concealer. Wow, that's cute. Okay, I'm gonna take a bit on my sponge and add this for below the eyes. Ooh. I hope this lasts throughout the day because that looks fire below the eyes. Honestly, with that brush application, like, it doesn't look powdery. It doesn't look like anything's really sitting on top of my skin. It's not really sticking on to this little crevice of my nose all that well, which is fine. Like, I guess it, right up in here, it looks a little cakey. Okay, now with the e.l.f., let's take a look. The e.l.f. one is super powdery, like... Holy cheat. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna tap that off. Let's begin applying. Oh my god, that's actually like very powdery. Damn. This is a lot harder than I thought this was gonna be. They look so similar. Like, I'm really trying to get up close right now. I will say the camo foundation one is sitting a lot better up in my nose for sure i feel like the camo side did apply a little more true to color like this side looks a little more orange and in the pan that's exactly what it looks like to me you guys i kind of want to say that the pretty fresh side is what i'm digging right now not that the elf one is bad but it looks just a little more powdery and it's not as smoothing as this side like this looks airbrushed to me like this looks like i really put in work this one is like you're cute you know but yeah. very similar very very similar for sure so applying <laughs> wow this is a mess um, so applying the camo side with a sponge is definitely going to give you a much smoother appearance to the skin like i just added that right below my eyes and it looks seamless let me go ahead and see how other products lay on top of this so i'm gonna add some bronzer some contour blush and a bit of highlight all right so let's talk about it um when i was adding the bronzer i noticed that the camo side like really gripped onto it to the point where it kind of like left a splotch so i had to buff that out but i think they kind of worked out well blush went on normal on both sides then i just added some highlight down the nose so that was fine yeah i think I'm still like siding with a pretty fresh side. Like it was just a little easier to work with. I am getting some creasing in my smile lines already. It's only been a few minutes, but that's just something to note. That's something that does happen quite often to me. So it's not like what is happening. But yeah, definitely just getting a little more creasing. I would say between the two, pretty fresh is giving me a little bit more, but you can just like blend that out it's not a big deal it's currently at 12 40 i know it's getting late for a wear test but is it really it's fine i'm gonna have this on for the rest of the day i'll do check-ins if i remember 
and we'll see how these hold up. I'm not like running or going outside really, like I'm just gonna be chilling at home. Um, but still, you can, you know, you can still see. But so far, I'm honestly, I'm happy with both sides. I am gonna go ahead, do whatever I gotta do today and then check back in with you guys. I also realized I should probably show you guys what this looks like in sunlight. It's not insanely sunny right now, but it's a little sun sun. So this is what the skin is looking like. So we got ColourPop and e.l.f. So you can see. Yeah, I don't think either side really looks bad. Like my skin looks very, very smooth right now. Um, but we'll see in the next few hours how everything is holding up. It's currently 302 to be exact. What's blowing my mind is that both sides are powder foundation. Like that's just crazy to me because I don't know, my memories of powder foundation are just like not ever, they're just like not good. So it's, for this to be what it is right now, it's just like, um, but I will say I am getting some creasing on my smile lines. I believe when I had applied it, the ColourPop side was showing up first. That hasn't really gotten worse. I would say the e.l.f. side has. Not even too bad, but just, you know, it's a little more noticeable. Um, I don't really have much product on my nose because it's just been like runny and yeah, it's been a whole thing. But what I do like about that is that you can't tell that I've wiped off product. If you do use a foundation that is deeper than your actual skin tone, then yeah, you might, you know, have it show up, but it's fine for me right now. How are the under eyes doing? Ooh, they're so close, but I feel like I am having a little bit of um, creasing happening in my elf side. But honestly, if I were to just like pat that out, it would be fine, which I don't know if I mentioned, but I haven't touched up at all either. So that's awesome. Aside from that, I mean, the coverage is still there. I'm very happy with this. I do want to say that right now I'm filming with three different lights. So that does at times have my skin look a little softer than it actually is. I don't use a filter when I film, so that's not there. But in daylight or even just when I'm looking like in a mirror, I do notice that I have a little more texture showing on the elf side as opposed to the color pop side. So that's just something to note. Part of me wants to say like, it's gonna keep looking like this. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> this, is this a boring video? Probably, but we'll see. In a few hours, maybe, who knows? Something crazy happens. I'll let you guys know. Okay, bye. All right, you guys, let's wrap this up. It is almost 9 p.m. I'm ready to end this video. Not because I didn't enjoy it, but just because I'm getting tired and I still got to eat dinner. So <laughs> let's get the final thoughts. Um, honestly, this kind of looks like I just applied it. Like it lasted so, so well, both sides. Yeah, it just like the more I had it on my skin, I feel like the more it kind of melted onto my skin and just became one. The elf side does have a little more creasing, so that's just something to point out. But if I had to pick one, I would go with the ColourPop one, just because it is a little more smoothing on the skin, and I feel like that's gonna lay better on a wider range of skin types. But overall, I think for the price, both of them are great, but yeah, I would say if you really, really want one of them and just had to pick one, I would go with Pretty Fresh. But honestly, I'll probably still wear both of them. Like, it just is a matter of like whatever I grab. That's really all I have for you guys today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Um, what else was I gonna say? Watch me like really mess this up. <laughs> really, I'm not filming anything right now. I'm just chilling. <laughs> Banana.